Knock, knock. This is it. Sheriff Davis' house. The famous man's home. I'm excited. I have a feeling we'll get a much better idea of what's going on when we find his case files. Learn as much as you can about Lee Davis. Find his case files. Alright, Lee Davis is missing too. I forgot about that. Alright. Oh, clean. Interesting guy. Is that all you say? Really? Oh, haha. <laughs> Full fridge. If he was planning to disappear, he would have emptied this out first. <clears throat> all the lights are on. He must have left in a rush. Beautiful photo. Yes, the sheriff was into photography. He carried his SLR everywhere, even on duty. He would take photos of all sorts of things. This one is locked. Gun on the bedside table. Pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crimes around here, deputy? No, not really. Pretty peaceful town. These incidents are the first serious thing to hit this town since the tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yep. It was pretty bad. Some local businesses had it to leave. Actually, the U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Did they end up buying? Nah, the tornado dissuaded them pretty fast. Oh. Also, a lot of that land was in contention. Apparently, the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently years back, they bought it off that Cherokee tribe I told you earlier. Apparently, they swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. Let's see. I have a feeling that the haunting is from, like, the Cherokees. I don't know. That's the way they're kind of, like, leading it on towards. What your note? Again? Different handwriting this time. What does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 634. It's from the Bible. Let's see if we can find one. The sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there is a Bible around here. Alright, 634, eh? This guy is a hacker or something? He has so many computers. Hey, it's Pi! Look at that! How very suspicious! This guy is a hacker? Oh, yeah. This guy is a hacker? Oh, yay, yeah, something different. Let's see. Hmm. When I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Must be encrypted. Can you still copy the files into your flash drive? Yeah, it doesn't stop me doing that. Very interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files and yet chooses to not lock them into his computer? Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely. He didn't put up a password for the computer itself, as if he knew someone would use it. That's odd. Copy the file anyway. We can probably find the keyword that deciphers the code later. Files downloaded. Are they allowed to do all this, by the way? I thought there there was a rule, like you need to get a warrant or something. I don't know. All the lights are on. He must have left in a rush. Man, this guy was packing heat, eh? I am I, Desert Eagle. Beretta M9 and Remington 870 shotgun. All reliable classics. Wow, you know your guns! I'm in America. I have to. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Award of Excellence in Mayor for Sheriff Lee Davis for Excellence in Law Enforcement. High Commissioner E. Bomb. Pretty impressive. Lots of classic literature. This guy sure loved to read. Photos from Antarctica. That's weird. This reports 04 to 06. Guide on how to modify small and medium sized firearms. Oh, he was a real techie guy. Medal of Honor awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Lee Davis, Seventh Rangers Division. Sheriff Davis was in the military? Yep, U.S. Army Ranger. How am I not surprised? So he was a ranger. If he is dead, whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That is, if he's dead. With his car gun, it's most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left so many of his firearms behind. I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. Me too. Fire extinguisher. I guess this guy was really ready for anything, eh? Almost too ready, right? What's that supposed to mean? Lots of books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. 
Yes, please. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. I wonder what that could mean. Most likely something to do with the keys, since he obviously left those for someone to find. Oh yeah, the sheriff has a storage unit somewhere. This might be the clue as to where. Oh man, I didn't understand that a single bit. From now on, give us this bread. What the heck is bread? Camping equipment, tin food, water purifiers, flints, hunting knives. This guy was ready for Armageddon, eh? The sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger. The outdoor is in his blood. He was an Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. Damn it. It's gonna say the same thing. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, really? You don't talk about his TV? Of all things, not his TV? You weirdo. TVs are really important. Alright, let's do this. Let's see, hmm, when I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense of text. Oh yeah, they, they already said this. What, why did they already say this? Why can't I do this again? I'm doing this three times, what the heck? Okay, wasn't I supposed to do something with a computer? Oh, keys, that's a literal keys. I was thinking of... Oh my god, computer keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think those are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. Those aren't his house keys either, as they don't look like the copy I have. Guess we hang on to these. Well, we already know where it goes. Apparently I missed it earlier. But, doesn't matter. What do you think Link Davis storage unit is? Bread. Bread. Baker Lane, right? Give them bread. Has to be. I get it. From the Bible. Yes! So, so far, it's a pretty slow movement, but that's only because this is a mystery game. It is developing a lot. It does make me wonder what's going on, though. This is it. He even labeled it for us. What's inside? Files on all the victims of some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man. This car is only a year old. No tape player. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel to check it out. Cool. I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Lee Davis' files, if that's okay. Please, do. Empty. Dude, he really cleaned out. One of these will open, because that is the secret of games. I lied. Aw, oh, man. I was really hoping that out of all things, this paper would be something. Damn you. Damn you. Mosey on down, mosey on down, let's solve a mystery, guys. See you. Thanks for dropping me off. Don't uh, don't go too fast. You might crash. Great, I just did like a parent joke. Oh man, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm eager to play Lee Davis tape. Let's go back to my car first. But when we open the door, we open the door. Why open the door and just stop there, you weirdo? Sarah turns on the car and inserts Lee Davis' tape. There is something very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. 
ever crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present and ever seen, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, am I to assume that a murder has taken place and the bodies disposed of perfectly? This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece is finding out about the victim of the car accident. Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham a few days ago. The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. The notes I'm finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe that the answer lies in finding the correlation between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I am not safe. For the past few days I have felt a presence around. Someone watching. Someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this one, it is not hard to detect when something irregular has happened? If you are listening to this, I am assuming you are also a member of the police force, and I ask you to please see that justice be done. These youngsters had promising lives in front of them, and now their families are telling me they have disappeared. My heart tells me they are no longer in this world. The brutality of the attacks makes me think that perhaps it may have been an animal, or even supernatural. But the lack of evidence makes me think that perhaps it was from someone or something intelligent and experienced. I leave behind my notes for you in case something happens to me. Farewell. Okay, first of all, G. Willikers, that was awesome. A voice acting. And it was a hundred thousand bajillion times better than mine. Thank you. That's fantastic. Secondly, now it's really making me think and wonder what exactly is going on. Apparently all group is connected somehow. So, what do you think? It's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, this small town hasn't seen anything major in years. Yeah, but one could possibly claim that the attack in the national park was a wolf attack. Yeah. And the car accident really was caused by drunk driving, and the guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? No. What's all those creepy notes? The one Lee Davis left us was his, that's for sure. But the ones at the crime scene? I don't know. You think it might have been Lee Davis? No. He was with the deputy at the time of the first crime. Also, I can't imagine such a decorated officer suddenly going on a murder spree. I've seen stranger things, but my gut instinct says it's not him. Besides, those tapes. He sounds really mystified and horrified by the cases. Did you get a quick look at the files? Very quick look. Did you notice that all the victims were under 24? All college students from the same university? Yeah, we need to investigate who knew each other. But first, we should probably check out the evidence. Check it for fingerprints, etc. Yeah, check out those blood samples too. Isn't it insane that there are no signs of the bodies? All just huge blood splatters. We have our work cut out for us. As long as that amateur deputy stores all the evidence well, we should be able to crack this. You were pretty rough on him earlier. Come on, you know he deserved it. Chances are the trail has gone cold by now. Like I said, we got our work cut out for tomorrow. What did he tell you while I was getting coffee? He was telling me about how strangely Lee Davis was behaving after these cases, how he was recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't eating or sleeping either. Very strange. Anyway, I'm tired. We sure crammed a lot in a day. We could have split this into two days, but the trail would have gone even colder. I'm off to bed. 
Cool. See you tomorrow morning, Ben. Oh, by the way. Oh, oh, he's, he's just randomly walking. Weirdo. Get some rest. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I thought he actually came back and was going to be like, by the way. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I actually did not look at the case files. Do I have the abilities to? No, I don't think I do. And I actually still have all the blood samples. And all the other stuff. I, th I thought the deputy took it. Flipping deputy, you failed again. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways. Good morning, madam. I hope you slept well. Like a baby, thank you. Really? It's still morning? And I need to sleep in for the night? I mean, sleep in for the rest of the day and the night? And she made herself coffee. Oh my god. Alright, so... Huh. Bunch of college students that knows each other. The Ouija board was involved. It's a mystifying feeling of someone stalking you. Then we talked about the Cherokees, the government. The government who swindled the Cherokees. That's what I meant to say. Day three. Sarah. What's happening? I just got a call from the captain. The deputy's body was found this morning. Deputy Hill is dead? I'm afraid so. So, where was his body found? In the police station. We should investigate. The police station is on Apothecary Road. Let's investigate. Oh man, that's weird. For a second, I mean for just a very split second, it didn't last. I don't even, it's, it didn't last at all. But I actually thought that the deputy might have been up to something. I'm still getting over that Mike is gone. We grew up together. Why is this all happening? I'm sorry that we couldn't have stopped this from happening. We will get to the bottom of this. There are men in suits all over town. We have blocked off all the roads. You can probably walk into town unencumbered. If you didn't notice, head west to on the hotel road. Thanks. But then again, I completely doubted it would have been Mike. The only reason it jumped in my head was because they were saying that the uh, sheriff, Lee Davis, could be suspicious. Even though I knew he wasn't. The only reason they brought it up was to uh, throw your attention completely away of thinking that it possibly could be. It's a, uh, it's a standard technique. That way the, uh, the player, or the viewer when you get to uh over their heads on stuff move along so what's the cia here can we leave i mean the cia is here they they totally have it down am i right i should totally look at the map all right uh apothecary oh crap should at least tell me which lane it was in uh, Z. Hmm. This ain't gonna be easy. Oh, hello. Move along. Move along. Move along. Hey guys, I'm in your circle. Whee! What you guys talking about? <laughs> Move along. Guys, how all you guys say? Move along. God, so rude. Let me guess. Move along. Damn it. Oh, someone who doesn't say move along. Hey, you two, clear out. This is a restricted area. We're police officers. My name is Detective Sarah Fitzgerald. Hawthorne County Police requested my presence here. Your badge says Norfolk Police. Aren't you a bit far away from your jurisdiction? Aren't you listening? We were asked to come here. This is my jurisdiction. Not anymore. FBI is taking over the show now, so you can take it easy now, detective. Thank you for your concern. Hey, what do you know? My wish came true. <laughs> what happened? I heard the deputy was killed. Yes, we're looking into it, detective. You are relieved. Mike. I'm sorry, detective, but I really need to ask you to leave now. We knew him. We should have the right to see him. Also, all the case evidence is in that building. We're taking over that as well. The minor cases like the police accident will pass to the Durham Police Force. 
You are relieved, madam. Don't talk to me like I'm a civilian. The cases are all related. Whoever killed the deputy also killed the college kids. As for us to decide, detective, will you be leaving now? Or do I need to have you escorted? Sarah, let's go. Philip, you can't be buying this. They're FBI, and they are rank us. Let's go. I can't believe you. What he means is, let's sneak around back. Oh. We actually have to go. Damn it. So yeah, FBI's are total D-bags. It is true. Hi. Where am I going? <laughs> no! 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 I can't skip it! No! Okay, so we're going into the hotel. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, but there's a P. Well, looks like that's us off the case. Phil, I can't believe you're giving up now. The FBI and the Durham police are here now. We're not even operating within our own state. I'm sorry, Sarah, but we have to leave. I'm gonna talk to the captain and see if we can get special permission to reopen the case. I don't care if we have to get permission from DC. Good luck with that. I can't believe you, Phil. You know that whoever is responsible for all that is out there and you're just gonna walk away? Of course I do. You think there wasn't this much politics when I was an inspector in England? It's the same thing. Shit happens, sir. You gotta trust the system. I'm not gonna let this slide, Phil. I know we haven't known each other that long, but I know you're a cop deep in your bones. We gotta find this guy. We will, we will. It's just, going rogue is the fastest way for us to lose our badges. You still have the case files and Lee Davis photos and tapes, right? <laughs> Good job. I'll show the captain everything and explain what happened. Right now, the FBI has everything locked up, so it's not like we can get any more evidence. I'm sure we can work out something special. I trust the captain. You're right. Sorry I shouted at you earlier. You're passionate, and a cop deep at heart. It's a good thing. Let's head back to Norfolk now. This place gives me the creeps. Sure. Let's get our bags. I'll meet you here at the lobby in 15. They billed me for consuming something from the hotel room fridge. I haven't even opened mine the whole time. Don't you hate it when that happens? Tell me about that. Good luck with it. I'll see you in 15. Did you just push me? What the heck, man? Oh. Okay. Hi. Can we talk? Okay... Mark? Ah, you got here in time. For a second, I thought we'd miss each other. I flew over the second you called me. So, you think it's... them? I'm pretty sure. Or the telltale signs. Ah. Sir Hamilton won't be happy. I thought we sorted this guy out years ago. Apparently not. Tom will need the whole team back. It's way worse than before. I'll take a look around, so, you extracting tonight? No, I'm returning to Norfolk tonight, and we'll go through the debrief with Sarah. You old softy, don't spend too long there. I'll meet you in DC in a week. Yep, see you there. Oh, Sam. Yeah? Don't stay here too long. I know, I'll see you in DC, Mark. Wait, what? Okay, so he's really a special op sort of dude, like some secret organization, and his real name is Mark. His fake name is Phil, he's just an over undercover cop, so he li basically lives two lives. Interesting. And another thing I wanted to know was that he looks like Leon, and she looks a bit like Clara. Clara, I believe that was her name, right? No, Claire, Claire. Yeah, Leon Claire. <laughs> I like that. I don't know if they did that on purpose, or if that was like some sort of uh, mention of them or whatever. But that was cool, and I liked it. Alright, so overall, not much, too, not too much action. It was a lot of story building, but it really, really gives, uh, really gives suspense and oh, fun. Let's on Kickstarter to solve the mystery. Well, there you go, guys. If you want to solve the mystery. I will shoot the link down below, but as I was saying, not too much action in this first chapter. It was a lot of story building, 
but it gives a lot of potential for chapter 2. As to what, I have no clue. We weren't even given like some sort of sneak preview. Would have been nice, but I can only assume that they have not even started working on chapter 2, so they couldn't. Regardless, this was an interesting, uh, interesting game. It was basically just dialogue. And, well, actually, yeah, it was basically just dialogue. Wasn't any puzzles, didn't have to do anything special. Just click on the right stuff and read. It's a really story driven game, hence being in chapters, I suppose. Well, anyways, guys, this is Silver Creek Falls. If you enjoyed, let me know what you think. Shoot a comment below. I'm, I'm curious. Like, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about the, uh, the mystery. It, it makes you feel like it's a, uh, it's a paranormal thing, but once Mark started talking, he makes it sound like it's dumb. What's, th actually, yeah, maybe it is a supernatural thing. Cause he did say dumb. Hmm. Either something supernatural or an occult. I don't know, I think it's something supernatural. I mean, maybe the supernatural aspect is just a cover-up? Like, again, in a cult? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm really, like, mind-fumbled over this. I have to spend, like, an hour or something just to think about it in order to give a proper response. So, uh, yeah, guys, if, if you have your own thoughts, let me know and let's converse. See if we can solve this mystery before Kickstarter does, you know? If we're good and all. <laughs> so yeah guys, Silver Creek Falls, Kickstarter is in the descriptions. And other than that, I'll see y'all later. So then guys, take it easy. Ciao! I like it. I like the way he's drawn. He's got the, uh, I'm a wimpy little kid <laughs> look. His little sprite, I mean. Oh, hello!